Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Half Life. Uh, this Barney just told us that we should get topside here. We'd better be careful. <laughs> All right, he said he smells an ambush. Okay, I'll cover you. Let's uh, let's go for it. Let's uh, check out what's down here. We're trying to get to the servers, make contact with the military. Holy shit, bullshit! Open fire, damn it! Ah, <laughs> okay, he's done. Very good. All right, he's dead, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm up here and what these Barneys have to say. Whenever you like kill something, I was like, that'll look nice on my trophy case. Alright, there's not much Oh god. Oh Barney just ate it. Shit man, these fart knockers, get out of here. Sound like a lightsaber. Just then, you know, like when the two people like have their lightsabers clash and it makes that Weird electronic noise is what it kind of sounded like just then. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, we want to go it's over this way. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> yeah, I forget which part of Half Life 2 that's in, but that, they definitely use that music in Half Life 2 as well. Here's a, uh, like a supply room that you can get to by crawling through lots of vents. I don't think you can get to that till later on. But wait, this is our one of our. First experiences with the vents that will not be our last. Lots of vents in this game. <laughs> All right, trying to go up here. Yeah, how's everyone doing? It's a uh, Friday, November or <laughs> November. Jesus, January third. Suck it, suck it, die, 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 die. What are you? What am I hitting? What was I hitting just then? All right, very good. Yeah, we were just down there, so we killed those Vortigaunts. But we don't want to go back down there, otherwise we're just going to get back up here. So, uh, yeah, this, this thing's going to crumple over here. Holy crap. Holy jeez. Jesus! No, there's nothing over here since these damn head crabs. Alright, moving on. Yeah, it's currently the coldest day of the, uh, the winter season for us thus far. I only got up to like 24 degrees Fahrenheit today, which is like, eh, I don't know. Let's see, 8, uh, like minus 4 centigrade or something, I want to say. Yeah, and we got some snow too last night. Oh, this is the room, okay. <laughs> that wasn't so hard to get to. Did I do, did I make a wrong turn? Did I go somewhere I should not have gone? Oh, no, no, this is the right way to go. You, you don't even have, okay. You technically don't even have to go that way, because we just have to use, like, grenades to blow up this this thing over here. And that's all we need to do. Holy god. Head crabs everywhere. <laughs> well, he's dead. Ah! <laughs> Alright, yeah, they can go fuck off. I'm not dealing with that crap. Yeah, I gotta have some, uh, some zombies right here. Hit them with the, uh... The grenade. Alright, so yeah, I just replaced my motherboard. You probably saw those videos that got uploaded. My SSD solid state hard drive is a lot faster now, but if it feels like I'm kind of like in a bad mood right now, it's because my microphone just like stopped working. I don't know, man. I just changed out the MOBO, and now my microphone is like permanent white noise in the background, so I'm going to have to try and filter that out with uh, my voice recording software. Uh, what am I doing? I'm only doing this because I know that's the way you're supposed to go. Let's go the wrong way first here. Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna call this scientist Morgan Freeman. He kind of looks like Morgan Freeman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three double taps, man. Takes a lot to kill those mofos. Alrighty. Where does that scientist go? I like to do something evil with this dude. <laughs> It's pretty bad, but I don't know, it's kind of funny. You want to get him, uh, stuck right here inside this door and then close it on him. <laughs> uh, so bad. So bad. Sometimes they stay out the old rat! And that shit makes me crack up. Okay, let's see if we can get this headcrab stuck in. Ah, uh, never mind, it's too much work. Holy shit. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna have to... Okay, that was just four double tap or two double taps. So we're gonna have to use this thing here, so I'm just gonna turn it on now so I don't have to go back and get to it later, so... There's no way, no other way out of here. You don't really take any ice damage in here. But at some point later on in the game, there will be like a place where you do take ice damage. I guess because it's really just not that cold yet in here, even though I'm sure it's below freezing. 
But they got that, like the frozen meat chunks like Rocky or something. It's like, hey, I got more facelifts than Joan Rivers. But yeah. So I better get ready to the vent for the vents. In uh, Black Mesa Source, they took out a lot of the vent. A lot of the vintage, which I guess is good for some people, but for hardcore fans of Half Life like me, like. I mean, it's part of the game, like all the vintage. Like, Black Mesa Source is a lot shorter than Half Life. I got through like the first half of that in like eight hours or something. No, I, it couldn't have taken that long, could have had. I don't know. I have, a, I have the volume turned up really high and this is pretty loud. But I guess I'll keep it like this for this recording. But it doesn't really need to be this loud. There's not ter not terribly too much to hear at this point in the game. I hear bugs scurrying around. There's like skulls and stuff. It's just a random cacophony of vents and shit. But yeah. I remember spending a lot of time in these events and getting the shit scared out of me as a child. I mean, these things are freaking claustrophobic. They're not even meant to support the weight of a person, so I don't even know why we're crawling around in vents. And why they don't crash around more often. Oh, hey, this looks familiar. Don't count on the cavalry finding us down here. Head for the surface. Oh, shit. T I think Barney said something about being able to s still climb. Hello. Lead the way. And this guy just looks like Kleiner, so I'm just gonna call him Kleiner. Yeah, we might stand here Come on, we gotta get to the surface. Oh, this is a fun Oh. You're not gonna come any further, Kleiner? Yeah, this zombie up here is just gonna... <laughs> huh. Ugh. I totally forgot that that scientist like jumps through there. Sometimes in my more sadistic playthroughs, I'd throw a grenade right as he jumped through, and then he would just pop. <laughs> but I kind of forgot about that. Whatever. That guy's supposed to like. No, oh, Barney, you're shooting me, man. That guy's supposed to like jump out already or something. But yeah, these guys can't follow us, so we kind of just have to go. I don't really need the ammo, so I'll let you live. I mean, he's stuck here anyway. So what we gotta do is we gotta do a little uh, leap of faith. Ugh, no! I think I pressed space or something. Alright, let's try that again. It'll control jump. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, this guy's stuck up here. Maybe we can try and rescue him. Oh, oh, he's gonna fall. Get up there. Ah, uh, we're close, we're close, man. We're coming. How are we gonna get him? Oh no, his hand slipped. Ah! Well, shit. <laughs> That's pretty fucking scary. Alright. Another leap of faith. Hi ho, silver. There you go. Oh, we're stuck in this elevator. There's no power. Am I going to be able to get out of this thing? Oh. Yeah, I always think we're supposed to press that button when you just go up to the door. We've got hostiles. Oh, man. I, <laughs> I don't know how I'm forgetting about all this stuff. I totally forgot about, like, the we got hostiles chapter and shit. Like, we're about to run into soldiers for now. God's sake, open the silo door! They're coming for us! It's our only way out! Oh. Alright, now I... Damn it! I like to shoot that guy before the frickin'... He hits that trip mine, because it usually sets off the fire alarms, but... It seems we're good. This is our first one with an ATV charger. These will become crucial. At least I think it's our first one with an ATV charger. I don't remember seeing one prior to this point. Okay, yeah, he didn't hit the, uh... Well, for... That trip mine usually sets off a fire alarm there, but yeah. Alright, as you can see up there, there's a sentry gun. I don't think I can get through these lasers without tripping it, so let's uh, snipe it. Then we have a sentry gun off to the. Oh, oh, just a head crab. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, first run with a soldier. Now we have an MP5. Oh, yeah, I got some heavy artillery now. Uh, I'm gonna take out this explosive crate. Oh, holy shit. I think we got another sentry gun over here. No? Thought we did. Yeah, the MP5 is pretty inaccurate. At least for you. The, the soldiers shoot it in burst, and they're a lot more accurate than we are. So I'm just trying to dodge these things here, these trip mines. Gonna get some Vortigons spawning up here. Wow, this is a lot more rapid than I remember it being. <laughs> I don't remember it being that rapid, but I'm not complaining. Why don't I remember it being that rapid? Was it less rapid in Op 4? <laughs> I don't know. 
Haven't had to get desperate enough where we have to scrounge for health using the, the soda machine, but maybe we will eventually. I think a Vortigon spawns down here or some shit. I just thought... I remember, you, I remember shooting that thing for like a Vortigaunt or something. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Ah. Man, you, you can never really kill these fucks before they get their first shot off, which is really damn annoying. Oh, there's another one right here. Well, say goodnight. Boom! Oh, I woke up his friend. Well, you can have an aid. Merry Christmas. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Very well, let's save. Yeah, ah! Son of a bitch. Uh, when I was in the process of transferring everything over to my computer, I had this shit saved on the, uh, the cloud, but it wouldn't load, so I had to play through to go back to this point. And I was getting some weird, like, glitches and crashes, but you're gonna watch out for this water. It's really slippery. Shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, that sign is about to... Are you gonna walk through there and eat shit? Hey, look, it's a G-man. Uh, come with me, my friend. Go shoot these trip mines. Very good. Okay. Oh, I can hear some soldiers. Let's hurry up and make contact with them. I'm sure they're itching to get us out of here, aren't they? Yeah, all these crates have ammo in them. So if you see me smash crates, that's where I get this from. It's Half-Life, trying to smash all these crates. <laughs> get as much ammo and health as possible. And where's that G-Man guy going, man? Where the hell did he go? Hey, that's... He's gonna come rescue us, right? Oh, no, he's shooting him. What are you doing? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Shooting the scientist, man. Stop attacking immediately. They're attacking the science team. Alright. Yeah, the uh that overhead voice. I used to like modify these half life games a lot. And uh there's like a whole bank of like all the things he can say, so you can like string together a lot of stuff. But yeah, this is the uh surface art. Oh, I thought this music was supposed to come on for something else, okay. We're not as far ahead as I thought we were, but... This is our first big battle sequence right here. Oh shit, did they kill a scientist already? I didn't even hear him shoot him. Oh yeah, son of Oh, that was pretty quick. I'm on hard, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, they like to throw grenades a lot, so make sure you watch out for those nades. Holy shit, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And yeah, they like to do that kind of like... Asshole shit right there, it's like drop a nade and then run away. We have to watch out for that crap too. Where are some bitches at? Yeah, <laughs> just, you just blew yourself up, you some bitch. Where are they at? Where are they at? Hello. These guys are a lot easier than I remember them being. Is this one hard? <laughs> I don't know. It's not like Half-Life 2. I don't think you can change the difficulty in the middle, but I, no, I'm sure I put it on hard. Though I'm sure this will be getting hard eventually. Is that the guy that we just saw? Kleiner? Hmm, I don't know. And then that, the one scientist that's like bald with like the hair on the sides, I'm gonna just call him Albert Einstein, I'm sure that's what he's supposed to be. I'm surprised that hurt me from all the way over there. Am I surprised? Or I don't know, maybe not. Alright, so both those things are gone. We can't really go up that well, can we? Oh no, it, yeah, it always hits that one frickin' fire alarm up there. You can't really get up there that easily. There are some soldiers up there. I don't think they've spawned yet, but yeah, this is the way you gotta go. And it's some slow going with these conveyor belts. So going the wrong way, but it's really honestly not too terribly slow. Thankfully, some more HEV chargers juicing me up here. Okay, we're cock locked, ready to raw. So let's uh, keep moving on here. These soldiers are trying to kill us. What the hell's going on? Well, it looks like we're gonna fight our way out. I don't know where Gordon Freeman got any of this weapons training either. Let's try and nade this douchebag. Boom. Niet problem. Alright. We have to go back down this way, so yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, you could go down this way, but that's just. This guy's gonna be up here anyway, so you might as well go the other way, I think. So, we're turning off the fire alarm, raising this door, it does take a while. And I guess my nade did get that guy, because there's a trip mine on the other side of here, so that's good. 
<laughs> I'm the one man who can save everything. I think that's what he's supposed to say. <laughs> oh, he was getting barnacle eddied. Uh, yeah, what's up, man? Is this on hard? I don't remember being able to kill a soldier that easily with a clock. Okay. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm, I know I said it to hard. Oh, God, I hear a grenade. Well, it's not like that was really I mean, it was easy, but I did use a whole clip of ammo, so I guess it is on hard. But these MP5s are shooting a lot more rapidly and a lot more accurately than I remember. But once again, I'm not complaining. But yeah, an op 4 or when you have the HD pack, this is supposed to be like an M4. Because I, I guess an MP5 with a grenade launcher on it is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, suck it. Yash. Yeah, what's good? Yeah, if you hit him in the helmet, it doesn't really do damage to him, I don't think. If you saw that, if you heard that little ricochet back there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get a little bit of ammo. I'm kind of flying through this right now, man. I'm not using as much ammo as I thought I'd have to be. Alrighty, let's see. Wow, we're already up to 16 minutes. This is flying by, man. Flying by. Alright, I hope I'm able to, like, filter out my voice well enough here. Alright. I make it rain. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of rain, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm, I'm assuming so. Yeah, this is on hard. It can be used better sometimes use the Glock. It's more accurate. MP5 tends to spray around a lot. Alright, where am I? Oh, here we go. Okay, I missed this the first go around. Save. Biological, chemical alert. That voice sounds not as deep as I remember. Maybe it's sped up a little bit or something. Uh, there might be stuff in these big crates, but they're just so freaking hard to open. It's just well, it's not hard; it just takes forever to do. So I don't tend to do it. Okay, now we're about to like reach the surface here. And I think once I get through the surface part, I'll call that a video. Oh, ever so slowly. <clears throat> about to get some some more groove and music, I believe. Holy shit! This place is coming down around us, man. Okay, this part, uh, just RLH, just run like hell over here. This is where you want to go. <laughs> Don't bother fighting them. It's not going to help you with anything. Alright, open this thing up and then get the hell out of there because they're going to be blowing that thing up and it'll kill you. But they're dropping in soldiers. Holy crap, lots of soldiers. Nothing the old HEV and the MP5 can't handle that. Is there anything back here? Holy shit, where the fuck did you come from? Ah, run! Charge him! The grenade. <laughs> Alright, give us some more HEV and let's uh, take out these mofos. Did I get any more grenades? I think I'm down on grenades, so yeah. We are out of the grenades. Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. Boom, 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 boom. There's someone. Oh god! Okay, yeah, they just, uh. I think they just keep dropping them in. Yeah, so let's uh, just get the hell out. Oh, God. Oh! That's not what was supposed to happen. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's go ahead. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Ah! Uh, where am I supposed to be going? Oh, run down this way. Run, 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 run. <laughs> get me out of here. Yeah. Oh, I took a lot of damage somewhere, but yeah, fuck that shit. I'll run any day. <laughs> Instead of having to deal with that. Yeah, they just keep coming, it looks like. Alright, right here's your first cacophony of maze. It can be really hard to navigate this crap. Nothing down there. Uh, the point is, most of these things you don't have to go through these vents, but uh, I will anyway. Okay, what am I doing? I was supposed to stop it after I got to that vent part. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. We'll continue exploring these vents and working our way out of Black Mesa. So, oh, <laughs> see you guys then.